All right, guys, in this video, I want to answer the question, can taking maca root help with libido and sexual dysfunction? Okay, I want to look at the studies, then I'm going to look at some of the feedback I've gotten from people using it in the real world. So let's hop right into it. Um, so maca root has been around a while. There's, there's a limited amount of evidence, but what we have is promising. So first of all, uh, as far as straight up libido, there aren't any good studies with women. There are with men. And one in particular, they gave these men one and a half to three grams a day of makaru, and they, they broke that into three doses throughout the day. They did that for 12 weeks. And what they found is that it did increase sexual desire in these men. And just as a side note, the age of the men was 21 to 57 years old. Interesting point. It didn't happen right away. It didn't happen at four weeks. They did start noticing difference, uh, differences at that eight to 12 week mark. So it's definitely not a quick thing. Um, but again, it did help these men. It's important to point out, this is a subjective measure. This is just them saying their sexual desire increased. As far as labs and so forth, there weren't any changes. Interestingly enough, speaking of labs, uh, there were no changes in testosterone levels, at least that they found in this study. So something else is going on with the makaru to cause the sexual desire to increase. Now I want to talk about sexual dysfunction because what we can see is particularly in people who take medications. And that's exactly what this study looked at. This study was actually in postmenopausal women who were taking SNRIs and SSRIs which is selective norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, for example, like Prozac and Zoloft, those sorts of medications. They're notorious for causing sexual dysfunction, sexual side effects. So they gave these women the maca root, and what they reported is that there was an improvement in what they reported as se sexual dysfunction. And again, this is a very subjective study. It was based off these people's feedback. There were no labs that were being monitored, those sorts of things, but it did appear to be helpful. So my overall take, number one, is that Makarut appears to be positive. And the feedback that I've gotten from people who have taken it has been positive. Granted, that's not a tens of thousands of people, but the people I have talked to, it has been positive. So the overall good things that I see, while the studies have been small, they've been generally positive. Uh, the thing I like about maca root, it appears to be well tolerated, not a lot of reports of side effects, which I like. And again, I have had people in the real world tell me that it does help. So the things I don't like, uh, it's unfortunate we don't have more in larger studies, but Sometimes in natural substances like this, that's kind of what we're left with. Um, there's not a huge financial incentive to do some of these big studies, so we kind of have to work with what we have. Uh, the other thing, I call it a negative only because I would like to know what it's actually doing to help people, but right now we really don't know what it's doing. Again, it doesn't appear to be related to any sort of hormonal changes, but something is going on. There are some concerns. There have been reports of products, Makaru products that contain um, amounts of lead, so heavy metals. Um, I, I would just caution you on this. I don't think it's something that would stop me from taking it, but it's something you want to at least consider talk to your doctor about. Okay. Let me know in the comments, you guys, have you taken Makaru? Did you see improvement in libido or sexual function? Uh, it helps me to hear your feedback, helps other people that are watching the video to hear your feedback as well. So I'd love to hear about that. Uh, let me know in the comments and hope this video was helpful, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.